Uh, Daniel says, can you go over your broadcast setup, Jor? Yeah, very simple. I have a new mic, which I just purchased about a month ago now. It's called Shure, S-H-U-R-E. I got it on Amazon for about 300 bucks. And I've on, I mean, based on the old mic that I had, which was a Yeti, uh, it's way better, way better. And I think the Yeti was about 150 bucks. This mic, it, it came with a little tripod here. So it's off my screen. It's about 300 bucks for the mic and the tripod. So it's pretty much all I need for my show. It's very low quality production. I mean, the, the camera's good, the audio's good, but I do everything myself. I edit it. Uh, I guess I don't edit it. I, you know, put it on Zap.Stream. I put it on Spotify, Fountain, and the clips. The clips has been a big one for me, honestly. That's what takes up the majority of my time. As I go through kind of the, the transcript after the show, I look for some key points, and then I just post a clip after. So if somebody doesn't want to watch the full hour, they can just, you know, there's usually some clips in each show that... Um, that would be beneficial for people. So they've been getting a lot of traction with that, I think, Look, bringing a lot of new people to the channel, which is good, which is what we want. Um, and then my camera is a Razer. I don't know what the model is or anything, but it's pretty good, I think. Razer. I'm pretty sure I bought both the Razer at Best Buy, this on Amazon, and I use StreamYard for my streaming platform. So it's pretty cool, because you set it up in StreamYard and then it broadcasts to this channel, it broadcast to zap.stream and you can do another one as well. I do it to my backup account, Bitcoin Journey. So that's kind of set up. It's nothing crazy, but I think it gets the job done. Yeah, I just didn't want to I didn't want to spend a bunch of money until I knew this was something that I wanted to be doing more often. And so I just kind of held off for a very long time. We also do our golf show every Wednesday night. So that was part of it too. But I just think that there's a lot of people out there who wait until the time's right with everything or wait until they have the perfect webcam, the perfect microphone. And I think that you actually have to put in some work before that. Make sure you're good at it. Make sure you're, I shouldn't say good at it, but something you enjoy doing. And there's people who are getting value from it. And it, it becomes an investment then. So that's what I would say on that. 